Last time we opened the tier 5 insta monkey pack and made it into free play by using only those towers and those cross paths that we got without any upgrading. Now I don't want to do any spoilers for people that haven't seen that video and I'll just have a link to it in the comments if you want to watch that one first. But today we're going to open a tier 4 insta monkey pack and see if we can beat the score that was set by the tier 5s. Okay so here we go, 401 glue gunner, would have liked to have it as a 402 but 140 buccaneer, 041 spike, not a fan of that cross path. 402 sub, that's a good one, we need camo detection. 104 farm, 402 mortar, that's a good cross path as well. Ice monkey, 204, alchemist, 040, 400 wizard, and a 024 druid. So last time we did it on Polyphemus, it was half cash, but it's still hard. I did it on half cash because I didn't have the metal, so I kind of cheesed it. But I'm thinking I want to do it. Well, first off, I want to do it on an intermediate map as well, because I think it would be only fair if we do it on the same type of map. And I'm kind of eyeing balance, actually. I think we should do it on balance and hard mode because I have the black metal on it anyways. And I'm thinking balance because this is going to go well with the mortar, actually, because that's going to be one of our strongest towers, I think, the 42 mortar. And I'm also kind of thinking about what we're doing with the other towers. I mean, something like the ice monkey is going to be nice. Something like the 402 sub is going to be able to do damage. And the uh, 140 buccaneer is also going to be reaching the middle. So let me start with this one, actually. I want to start with the druid. This is arguably the worst tower that we got. This is a 024 druid. It's a pop plus one. And in order for these guys to work, we kind of need a bunch of them. So I want to save these spots uh, in the center of the map for other towers. So I'm going to have it here on the side. And I actually am not starting with this one by mistake because I actually kind of thought about this one. I think we should leak like the first, well, not 100 lives, but like as many lives as possible and then start placing the other towers because this guy has the um what's it called is the i think it's the heart of vengeance upgrade which gives it attack speed the more lives you lose so i think that's gonna it's gonna be a nice one even though you know his placement isn't exactly the best one but let's just buff him up as much as possible with the with the circumstances that we're under although some of you guys might have caught this one and i actually kind of caught it as well so we got a 104 banana farm and that's the bottom path, which is a central market. So that thing, because we're playing with Monkey Knowledge on, is going to restore lives. And the thing with the Heart of Vengeance upgrade is that when lives are restored, it loses its attack speed. So, you know, but let's just let's just see what happens. We're going to delay the farm placement because we don't need money anyway. So let me just place this Buccaneer. I want to have it on the left side because this bottle right here on this map can only house two towers, two water-based towers. And we kind of need the other spot to be reserved for the um, for the sub, right? So it's going to be the 402 sub. And that's a very important one. We're going to place it later on. But yeah, I would have liked to have the 240, but I don't think the 140 is... When you look at it like that, I mean, the 140 is better than the 040, right? So we shouldn't complain that much. So obviously, these guys are going to demolish these early rounds. So I'm going to be back in a second. So we're in the 30s, I'm going to play the sub next because we are going to need some camel detection for round 33 and I'm kind of thinking about whether or not we're going to be able to beat the record and it's looking like a no to me actually if you guys watched the previous video. I think enough time has passed for me to, to say what the number was for the previous video but let me just place the sub. Hope I don't leak too many lives with this one. Oh, it's unsubmerged. No. Quick. Was I late on that one? 11 lives? Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen and let me just hit play on that round again. So as I was saying, the last time we got to round 118 with the tier 5s. And with the luck that we got on this one, I don't think we're getting to 118. Because we do not have any, any DDT popping power as far as I could tell. But also, it's just like, it's all the wrong cross paths, guys. I'm going to be honest. We got the, it's the, for example, the spike factor, it's like 041. And I would have liked for that one to be a 240 at least, because it's going to be able to at least damage the EDs, right? I would have liked for, you know, something like the wizard to at least have a cross path on its own. It's a 400. Uh, something like a 420 or a 402, both would have been nice. And yeah, I think in general, we are not doing that hot on these towers. But if we can beat round 100, I think that's going to be super nice. So the goal is, I guess we're not beating the tier 5s. And I'm kind of happy that we're not beating the tier 5s because it would have been a waste of money, honestly, to buy a tier 5 pack and have just a bunch of tier 4s go farther than it. But let's see if we can do round 100. I'm actually not going to use the ability just because I want to see how much damage these guys can do. So let's see how we're going to pop the Moab. So they popped the layer. Yes, exactly. So that was a pink balloon leaking. This is exactly what I was worried about, which means that this setup is 
kind of nice versus, well, Small Bloons leaked, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that this setup is going to be particularly weak versus the 50s because we are not dealing with the Moai player and then these ceramics are not getting popped. So I think, you know, before the 50s arrive, we should probably be placing something else. Okay, so as round 49 is ending, I'm kind of thinking about what I want to place. So I think I'm going to go for the spike factor. We got a 041 spike, which again is not the cross pad, but I think the 041 spike is going to help us deal with the Moai player. So let me just place that one. And I think this is going to be the first one that I'm going to place in the middle. So this thing, even though it's a 041 and you're kind of thinking about, yeah, it's an ability, I think that we still want to have its spikes dropped on the field because they do a lot of damage we have the mob shutter upgrade from them so they are gonna completely shred mob class balloons which is gonna be nice versus the 50s so there's a mob incoming let's see how it does let's see how it's gonna pop yeah exactly it popped on like three spikes in total yeah that's that's a lot of damage so i think we're gonna be fine versus the mobs and round 16 coming i think i'm just gonna hook this one actually i don't think we need the ability for 61 but we are gonna need it for 62 and i'm gonna try and save both of them actually for the 45 mobs um, let me place this 104 farm while we're at it. I mean, I'm kind of itching to place the tower. Actually, I haven't placed anything in like 10 rounds, I think. So let's place this thing and let's just have it. Like, we don't need the money because it's just insta monkeys, but let's just place it and have it on the field. And let me, I'm going to hook one of these guys. And actually, let's not use the ability. Let's try and save it for the next round. Even though there's lead blooms on 63. Oh, yeah, that was kind of, they were kind of exiting, actually. So let's see how we're going to do. So the ability is going to be, when I say the ability, I mean the spike ability is going to be largely useless because, yeah, these guys are leaking. Yeah, so the spike ability is going to be largely useless on this round because of the lead blooms. So I'm pretty sure we should be placing something else. And I'm kind of thinking, I want to see how good is the 401 glue gunner. I'm thinking I should have it here at the top. I want to save the middle spot, I think, for the 204 ice. So it kind of holds these small blooms in place. So I think I'm just going to have it here, going to set it on strong. 401 glue, this thing is going to be leaving puddles. And I, I'm just kind of hoping this thing, I don't know, does a little bit. Let's, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens, actually. I mean, I saw a red balloon exit. Actually, a couple more balloons exited, but we are somewhat beating this. I mean, I can see these puddles. Are they doing any work? I don't think they are, honestly. They do like one damage, I think. But they do pop lead blooms, which might be a little bit helpful, I guess. And we are somehow dealing with this round. I mean, we kind of leaked on the right side, if you guys caught that one. But we beat the round, so it's a 401 glue that was enough. I think it's the map, honestly. So we're getting to the point where our damage is kind of starting to lack. I mean, we've had a couple of BFBs, and I'm going to be honest, we're not dealing that well with the BFBs unless we hook them. So I'm going to let this one go. Oh my god, 22 lives. Okay, I should... But yeah, that's that's exactly what I was talking about. So we're not exactly dealing with these guys. Let me... Let me use... Should I be using the... Yeah, let's just hook one of these guys. And let's see how we do. We're popping 45 Moais, but we're not doing well versus BFBs. We do have the abilities, by the way. So let's... Let's try and see if we can beat this round without placing anything. And then if we need to, we're going to place a tower. Because we do have a bunch of instants remaining. But it's not looking good, is it? Oh no, that was a... I thought there was only small balloons, but there was a, a big balloon, I guess, below them. So let's let's place something. I'm thinking I should be placing the ice, actually, because it was small balloons that leaked. But the synergy is not exactly good with the ice, is it? Because the spike cannot pop frozen balloons. Yeah, the spike cannot pop frozen balloons unless it has the top hat. And the sub cannot pop... Yeah, I should be placing the alchemist as well. I don't think the sub can pop frozen blooms either unless it has the middle cross pad. So let's do the alchemist. I mean, this ice tower is as helpful as it is. Well, as it's not <laughs> because it kind of it kind of makes our other towers not do. But it's, it's the ones that we have. It's, it's the instant that we got, guys. Let's put this. So let's have this guy on strong. I think, uh, I mean, we're going to have the ability. So let's see what we can do. Let's try and use the abilities. I should probably be... Do I keep this guy on strong? And now that I think about this one, this guy even has the unstable concoction upgrade. So it's going to help out a little bit with the Moab damage, I guess. Let's use the ability. Oh yeah, look at him go. He's melting them. This tower is not actually that bad versus, I guess, before free play comes in. So I think we should be fine, actually. I think he can pop frozen blooms, this guy, the alchemist, when it's transformed. Even when it's not, but it's like, this is when he does damage, right? These blooms you're getting, they're getting demolished. I'm kind of worried about 76, so I'm gonna... We have the spike ability, so I'm gonna use the spike ability for it. So, let's use it now. 
What happened? Where's the spike ability? I mean, we beat the round, but what happened to the spike ability? It didn't go off or something like that? Now let's go 78, so huge wave, two huge waves actually. The second one is going to be a camel one. That might be actually more difficult than the first one. And we are... We oh, we dealt with it. That was fine. That was good. We actually got it down. Let's see how we're going to do versus the ceramic wave. So we do have the spike ability. And again, nothing happened with the spike. I mean, what is... What's going on? Why am I not seeing... We dealt with it, by the way, with the alchemist. But So after beating this thing, can we beat... Or how far can these guys go? We do have two more insta monkeys remaining. I'm kind of saving the best for last. Because those are our strongest ones. Let me, by the way, use this. Let's just take care of these guys really fast, and that should be... Yeah, that's about it. So let's hit free play, and let's let's see how far we can go. So it's going to be a bunch of BFBs on this round. I'm going to keep using the abilities because I'm kind of scared, and we should probably be thinking about placing our wizard. So the wizard is at 4-0-0, and I kind of saved this spot on the right next to the ice for it. Uh, because the the other remaining tower is the 42 mortar and I don't think we care where the mortar is placed We don't have any buffs for it, right? So it can be outside. I'm gonna place it next to your farm actually But let's just have the wizards. The wizard is good because it can pop frozen blooms. So that's kind of a silver lining, I guess But we are We're lacking DDT damage. That's the only problem that I see right now So one more tower remaining is the mortar, but I'm kind of holding off on it. I think that we've been Someone we've been doing somewhat well with the towers that we have although this is you know what this guy You know what this reminds me of it reminds me of like a, a group of towers that I guess your little brother would place If you just gave him the tablet or something like that like these these towers do not have anything in common Like they don't even synergize with each other the cross paths are all wrong But let's see how we do on this one. It's a bunch of 45 BFBs, which is I guess 45 balloons are not a strong side either But we are but oh that was that was a huge explosion actually from the concoction now let's see how we do. I mean, this ice is keeping them all in place, isn't it? Although, as I say that, no, we got it. So I think we, I think we clear out one of them. But these guys are. Oh no, the concoction is. No way, they're leaking. Yeah, so I'm not sure if the concoction was actually helping us at, at that point because they were, they kind of all popped at once, and I think the PS was overloaded, which means that it is time for the last tower, the 42 mortar. So I'm gonna have it right here above the farm. So let's see how we're going to do with this one. Let's hook in a BFB as soon as they come out. And let's try and... If there's any way to like not have them pop at once, that would be amazing. Or actually... Yeah, I should be spamming the abilities. Let's just use everything that we have. This is... You can't even see anything, guys. It's just hoping that the mortar is enough. And hoping that... That was an excellent snipe. That was a full ceramic bloom, by the way. That was a good snipe. It's round 89, so next round we're going to have the first DDTs. I'm kind of confident we're going to deal with the first DDTs, but I'm not sure what's going to be happening with 93 and 95 specifically. So let's just see how we do. I should probably have the wizard on strong, actually, now that I think about this. Just to kind of have him focus down the DDTs, because he is probably the strongest tower that we have versus the DDTs. So let's see. Yeah. There we go. So the alchemist can damage DDTs as well, but it's not like like it's not your DDT popper, is it? DDT is incoming. I'm gonna hook one of them and I'm gonna I just have this dag on first. So let's use the ability and let's see what we can do with these guys. We have no slowdown for these guys whatsoever. And yeah, we take them down. So it's gonna be 95, I think, actually. That that's probably gonna be the last round for this setup, although I don't know if this alchemist ability, maybe, maybe some miracle is going to happen. Who knows, guys? Hold on for a second. Are we even making it to 95? Look at this one. This is... That's way too many balloons converging in the middle. I don't think we're dealing with this one, guys. I actually don't think we're dealing with this one. I mean, I was kind of thinking about the DDTs, but look at these UMGs. Do we even have the pierce for all of these guys? I don't think we do. So it's going to be... It's just the mortar. If the mortar does anything, which is... Yeah, it's not doing anything. Let me let me hit continue. Let's try this one more time. I'm gonna try micro the mortar and try and do as much damage as possible to these BFBs. But this actually might be the last round because that seems to be way too much RB for our towers to handle. So let's kind of have this guy a little bit on the right side. I should probably move it to the left, I guess, now, just to kind of get these BFBs popping as soon as possible. So we're only left with the ZOMGs, but even then, I don't think that these ZOMGs can be popped, honestly. I mean, it's way too many of them. It's just the peers gets overloaded and there's nothing to be done about it. Although I'm kind of using the abilities, you know, I'm using everything that we have, but no. So that was a ceramic that leaked. I'm not sure if you guys caught it on the left side, but I 
don't think this is happening. I mean, we weren't even close to popping it. So 94 seems to be the last round for our tier 4 monkeys, which they didn't beat the record of 118 of the tier 5s, which I'm kind of relieved of because all well, the tier 5s are a little bit more expensive to get. But at the same time, this is kind of respectable, which also kind of makes me think, if I buy a tier 3 pack, and if we get lucky with them, can we even beat this record of 94? And I feel like the answer might be yes. So that's going to be the next video. And by the time you're watching this, I might have uploaded it. So here's going to be the link of that one. And thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next.